This mistake that I can almost guarantee you're making really wrecks your lap times, but there's also an easy fix that can improve your times by seconds in just a few minutes. So in this video I'll be talking about the mistake you're making and some potential fixes to improve your lap times. However, in order to get to this mistake we need to talk about what you might be doing wrong, even if you don't realise you're doing it wrong, and that is prioritising entry speed over exit speed, because straights are more important than corners. So here's a typical corner you might face whilst karting, and we're going to learn about the racing line, and then after that how to optimise your racing line to get quicker. For this particular example you're going to want to break around here, to make sure you get the rotation into the corner that you need. The apex is right here, and you're going to make sure you need to go on that. Then we're going to want to get to the other side of the track about here so that we can fully open up the steering and get to the acceleration. If we don't do this then we'll be just slower down this entire straight, which would be tragic. So let's obviously take a look at a real world example. This is a flawed racing line of mine when I was being pressured from behind. So you can see that I just don't take the corner as widely and as smoothly as I would like, meaning my racing line was compromised and therefore I lost speed and had a slower lap time. But that's not as bad as doing this, which I know some of you do. This is when you just fully commit into the entrance of the corner and the switchback is completely open for you. This is not good. So let's now compare those to some good racing lines which are quick and effective. So we can see I'm basically touching the outside barrier on entry. This is good because I can get full rotation of the cart and therefore I can get to the apex without having to compromise as much speed. Then I can purposefully take a very wide exit line because I know that I'm going to be able to use the speed that I've gained from the good entry. So now you know the basics of an effective racing line, but you need to perfect it, and that isn't as easy, because the corners are different, they're not all like that hairpin that I showed you, but these are three tactics I've learned that can help you optimise a corner. The first one is just to vary the different lines you're taking, if you're taking the same line every time you're not going to improve, because you haven't tried a different line which may be quicker. The second tactic you might need to know is that exit is everything, because these carts don't have that much horsepower in the grand scheme of things, so if you can gain more speed at the exit point originally, then you're not going to have to wait as much time to accelerate. The third tip is to copy what the other people on the track are doing, because if they're going quicker than you, then they're probably doing something right, so then you should be able to gain time from doing what they're doing. It's very confusing, but it will work. 